Hello viewers, welcome to the session on kitchen modular design. In the previous sessions, we studied the topics principles of kitchen planning. We also studied kitchen geometry and material specifications. In this session, we are going to study the topic essential services, tools and equipment in kitchen. We will try to make the students understand about the different services required in kitchen. Right. Let us start with the introduction. Modular kitchen is a set of all compartments, drawers, cabinets, racks, shelves, etc., which one can readily buy it and install in kitchen. These sets come with different styles, shapes and sizes depending on the user's requirement and based on the kitchen size. They are equipped with different kinds of equipments and fittings to make the kitchen useful for a cook. To provide support to the users while working with their equipment and workspaces, different types of services like electrical services, lighting, ventilation, drainage systems are provided in the modular kitchen. Let us now study electrical services and mechanical ventilators. First of all, let us look at the electrical services used in modular kitchen. Electrical services found in modern and modular kitchens are lights on the ceiling, lights in, on and under cabinets, counter receptacles with the capacity to run six or seven appliances at once and separate circuits for appliances including the refrigerator, dishwasher, and microwave. A medium sized kitchen may require six or more circuits. The things to be considered while installing electrical services. The first one, light switches. The location of the switches must be done carefully. If four or five switches are positioned next to each other, user may be confused about what switch controls which light. Therefore, wherever possible, the switches should be positioned near their lights. The users must be made sure that they can turn on lights easily, no matter which door or entrance they use. The most convenient arrangement is to use three-way switches so that a single light or series of lights can be controlled by two different switches. Typically, the lights in a kitchen are on a single 15 amp circuit. Receptacles. Building codes often suggest installing a separate circuit for a refrigerator and a microwave oven depending on its size and power. Generally, two circuits are required for countertop receptacles. In some regions, the receptacles must be ground fault circuit interrupters. In short, they are known as GFCIs and must be on 20 amp alternating circuits. In other areas, the required arrangement is to have two 15 amp circuits with non-GFCI receptacles wired with split circuits so that the two plugs are connected to different circuits. Appliances. An electrical electric range cooktop or oven must be wired to a dedicated 240 volt circuit. Other appliances are 120 volt. 
An under sink receptacle for the garbage disposer may be split so that one plug is switched and the other is always hot, allowing the user to plug in a garbage disposer and a hot water dispenser. Or the disposer may be hardwired into a switched box. Usually, the switch is placed on the wall near the sink. A dishwasher may have its own circuit or it may be on the same circuit as the garbage disposer. A range hood typically is hardwired. Circuits. It's a good idea to place one socket for every four feet of counter space in the kitchen. Measure the countertop to determine the number of sockets the user needs. Every area that measures more than 12 inches into 24 inches should ideally have one socket. One has to also equip the home with circuit breakers or fuses to prevent electric shock. The circuit breaker will stop the flow of electricity in case there is an overload. Most homes have a rewire able fuse, a cartridge fuse or a plug-in circuit breaker on the switchboard. Electrical installations. Since the kitchen is a, a moist environment, there should be some distance between electrical sockets and uh, the kitchen sink. The distance varies depending on the capacity of the sink. If the sink holds less than 45 liters, do not install the fittings within 0.4 meters from the top of the sink or within 0.15 meters from the sides of the sink. If the sink holds more than 45 liters, install the fitting either 1 meter away from the top of the sink or 0.5 meters away from the side edges of the sink. Mechanical ventilators. Kitchen ventilation is the branch of ventilation that specializes in the treatment of air from kitchens. Delicious aromas may be an enticing part of good cooking, but moisture, grease, odors and heat from stove top food preparation will damage the surrounding areas. Steam from cooking condenses on windows and walls and carbon monoxide from gas range combustion can build up. If there is no suitable and proper ventilation, the cook or housewife would feel suffocation and face long-term illness. The amount of ventilation required in a cooking area depends on various factors, the type of products being cooked, the structure which houses the cooking area, the type of equipment used and uh, local code regulations. Depending on the location of the house, the building heat source may also play a factor. Equipment used in kitchen ventilation uses an extractor hood or canopy and a filtering system. The fan for the ventilation system may be located within the kitchen or in the duct system nearby. Kitchen exhaust systems are made of several interdependent units which include exhaust hoods or canopy, exhaust fans, makeup air units and uh, packaged rooftop HVAC, heating, ventilation, air conditioning units and all need to operate within defined parameters to complement one another and to maintain peak performance. An effective exhaust system should get rid of heat. Particulate matter 
grease loaded steam and cooking vapors. The main factors that need to be considered when designing a kitchen ventilation system are the first one workload of the kitchen, the second amount type and power of cooking equipment used, the third layout and shape of the kitchen, the fourth number of staff working in the kitchen, the fifth the need for easy cleaning and maintenance. Next one, energy efficiency. And the last one, some cooker hoods now use the recirculation method, which cleans the air and puts it back into the uh, kitchen. This method is used if there is no way to push the air outside through a chimney system from the cooker canopy. The methods of kitchen ventilation. The first one is extractor kitchen exhaust fan. These fans remove air having smoke or grease caused by cooking. This fan is ideal for kitchen and is installed over cooking top. The second one, ceiling mounted exhaust fan. These exhaust fans are installed in the ceiling to remove stinky air outside through vent. Fourth one, wall mounted exhaust fan. These fans are installed, are hung on the wall of kitchen to remove stinky air outside. Next one, Kitchen range exhaust fans. These fans are mounting inside range hood over your kitchen. Such fans not only help to get rid of the kitchen from stale air, but help to expel bad odors and reduce moisture levels in your cooking area also. Let us now look at lighting daylight and artificial fittings and fixtures. We will first of all begin with maybe daylighting in modular kitchen, right. Daylighting is the controlled use of natural light to illuminate a room. A good day lighting design can vastly improve the workers enjoyment of the kitchen by stimulating the interior. The key of day lighting design is to provide even light while keeping out excessive glare and heat as bright light can make it difficult to perform tasks such as chopping vegetables or reading a recipe. For balanced light in the kitchen, provide daylight from at least two directions. A window located close to a corner or the ceiling helps spread daylight by illuminating adjacent surfaces. Skylights are an excellent way to provide daylight, although one should be cautious and not install overly large or have clear glazing as they might allow in too much harsh sunlight. Consider a skylight with translucent or prismatic glazing so that the light is diffused rather than uncomfortably bright. Another good option is tubular skylights. They let in daylight without the excess heat. They are also relatively easy and inexpensive to install in existing homes. Windows on the north side do not present a glare or overhearing problem. East facing windows are usually good in the kitchen because as they cheer up the space with morning light. South facing windows can be shaded on the exterior with an overhang or awning. This keeps summer sun off the windows while allowing in some warming sunlight during the winter when the sun is lower in the sky. 
the most problematic exposure for kitchen windows is the west side windows uh, in the west side minimize the number and size of windows on the west side overhangs are not very effective on west windows because the late afternoon and early evening sun is low in the sky exterior shutters can help if a window glass is coated with some finish which has a low solar heat gain coefficient rating if it is not possible to keep heat off the exterior of the windows use interior window coverings to keep the kitchen cooler drainage system and traps in this modular kitchens i'm now going to throw light on drainage system and traps in this modular kitchens what about drainage system drainage system in the kitchen includes vents traps and clean outs the vents sticking up from the roof of a house allow air to enter the drain pipes if there is no air supply coming from the vents waste water would not flow out properly and the water in the traps would need to be tapped away traps are vital components of the drainage system one can find a trap under every sink it is a curved s shaped section of pipe under a drain water flows from the basin with enough force to go through the trap and out through the drain pipe but enough water stays in the trap afterward to form a seal that prevents sewer gas from backing up into your home every fixture must have a trap some kitchen sinks have grease traps to collect grease that might otherwise cause clogging because grease and hair are generally the causes of drain clogs traps often have clean out plugs that give you easier access to remove or break up any blockage some sink traps have a clean out plug that enables to clean the trap without having to remove it from the drain and uh, the focus is water disposal a garbage disposal unit also known as a garbage disposal waste disposal unit garbage disposer or a garburator is a device usually electrically powered installed under a kitchen sink between the sink's drain and the trap the disposal unit shreds food waste into pieces small enough generally less than 2 mm meaning 0.079 inches to pass through plumbing depending on the model a disposal may be continuous feed or batch feed the first one lets the user to put in more food chunks while the machine runs thereby letting you save time and effort one simply need to switch it on and run the water meanwhile batch feed disposals are more organized and systematic either way one must drive the food waste into the sink with the use of running water the heavy flow pushes everything down into the grind ring shredding the waste before releasing them into the drain pipe some other kinds of garbage disposal units are powered by water pressure rather than electricity we will now try to focus on kitchen equipment and hand tools first of all let us look at the kitchen equipment kitchen equipment can be electrical or non electrical the electrical equipment includes heater toaster broiler electric range microwave oven conventional ovens electric tandoori electric kettle etc the non electrical equipment includes kerosene oil stove wick stove gas stove pressure cooker etc kitchen equipment are divided into three types they are one large size equipment two 
medium size equipment and the third one is small size equipment. Large size equipment consists of cooking range, electric oven, sink, kitchen table, etc. Medium size equipment consists of peeler, mixer, blender, mincers, etc. Small size equipment consists of pan, pot, bowls, spoons, grater, peeler, potato masher, etc. Apart from these, there are another two types of equipment which are number one, heat generating equipment, for example, oven, gas range, salamanders, pressure steamer, etc. The second type is cold generating equipment, for example, refrigerator, freezer, walk in cooler, etc. Right. Hand tools, what are they used in a modular kitchen? Having the right kitchen tools can make the time in the kitchen more enjoyable and improve the cooking skills. Few kitchen tools that no kitchen should be without are they should be of sharp high quality, hardwood cutting boards, mixing bowls, measuring cups and spoons, grater, sewer strainer, whisk, wooden spoons, spatulas, kitchen tongs. Let us study saucepans. Saucepans are used to cook foods on the stove top. They have one handle and can be lifted with one hand. They come in one, two and three quart sizes. Pots. Pots are used to cook foods on the stove top. They are larger than saucepans or pans. They have small handles on each side so that they can be lifted. Built-in provisions sinks and drain board. What built-in provisions should a modular kitchen should have? Sinks have an attached apron usually on one side but sometimes on both sides. This apron overlaps part of the counter. This apron, the drain board is grooved and tilted down for water drainage. Most are drop-in or self-rimming because it makes sense to extend one side of the rim and make a drain board out of it. But there are a few undermount sinks with attached drain bouts. Most are constructed of stainless steel. The most important part of the modular kitchen, kitchen sink. As it undergoes wear and tear day in and day out, the priority while choosing a kitchen sink for one's modular kitchen should be durability. There are excessive options available these days while going for modular kitchen sink that are made up of different types of materials. The different types of sinks available in the market are, the first one is undermount kitchen sink. Undermount sinks mount below the countertop to add a seamless finish and sleek look to the modular kitchen workspace. It makes the marble, granite or other countertops more appealing. It is commonly available in stainless steel but models made up of copper are also available in market these days. There are different types of undermount modular kitchen sinks available uh, with single, double and triple bowl undermount. Well, the other type is farmhouse kitchen sink. Farmhouse modular kitchen sink makes one sentimental about Esther years when it was designed to withstand the wear and tear caused due to rigorous use. This type of kitchen sink is available in stainless steel, copper, white ceramic or five clay model. Next one is 
drop in kitchen sink drop in modular kitchen sinks also known as self rimming or surface mounted sinks are more of a traditional style sinks as the name suggests it drops into the hole of your sink in the modular kitchen countertop it is made up of different types of materials like stainless steel vitreous china porcelain and enameled cast iron the next one in our study is composite kitchen sink it is one of the most durable choices that one can opt for it has proved its superiority in being heat scratch and chip resistant it is available in myriad range of colors and can go along with any type of modular kitchen decor bath sinks what are they bath sinks are available in myriad range of sizes models and finishes and they are easy to install one cannot do without a bath sink in the bar area of his or her home as they are very convenient to use cast iron sinks due to its high durability factor cast iron sinks have been chosen among the top building material for sinks since many years they are available in many different colors and provide a traditional and authentic appeal to the modular kitchen decor well viewers so far in this session we have seen customized modular kitchen and its equipment which helps the cook to be more organized and efficient when it comes to keeping the kitchen running smoothly the modern woman has to juggle between work and home between being traditional and modern this involves a lot of time spent in the kitchen good modular kitchen design makes the work easier and less tiring elegant and easy to maintain surfaces and equipment create a pleasing workspace modular kitchens are thoughtfully designed ensure peace and pleasure while cooking in a kitchen i hope the session has been resourceful to all our viewers thank you